Good morning. In this lecture, we are going to see about TDMA, that is time duration multiple axis, which is used to divide the radio spectrum into number of time slot instead of the frequency spectrum as in FDMA. And after the division, each time slot has been assigned to single individual user, which can able to transmit and receive simultaneously. So here, this is the uh, partition of the entire time uh, according to this law. And you know, channel 1 to channel n represent the n number of time slot and which is assigned for n number of uses. And these are all the key points related to the time division multiple axis. So it is for beginning time slots and one slot has been assigned to the one user. And the main concept in TDMA is buffer and burst method. That means the each and every user existence has been considered as a burst. And uh, whenever the particular user is in transmission, the other user has to be uh, stored the transmission in the buffer. That is a mean for buffer and post method. And uh, when compared to the FDMA, TDMA is non-continuous transmission. And it can be used for digital data transmission with the digital modulation techniques. So these are the key features of TDMA. It can use single carrier frequency whereas in FDMA we are in need of multiple carrier frequency according to the number of users. And the data transmission in TDMA is non-continuous whereas in FDMA it is continuous. Since TDMA is non-continuous process it has only low power consumption. And because of that low power consumption and the handoff process is very, uh, handoff process is simpler and uh, the in TDMA there is no need for the duplexer uh, to use, right. Since in, but in FDMA since the forward and reverse channel has been uh, used simultaneously and in part, so they are, there is, there is a need for duplexer in TDMA, FDMA whereas in TDMA there is a there is no need for duplexer and adaptive equalization is necessary in TDMA because the transmission rate in TDMA is high when compared to the FDMA channel and guard time should be minimized and high synchronization overhead is required and in TDMA there is a possibility of assigning a different number of time slot to different uses which occurs within a single frame. And this is a frame format for TDMA. Each and every TDMA frame consists of three major parts that is preamble, information message and drive bit. And preamble message it is used for the it, it is used to provide the synchronization before the transmission of the actual information. And this is the original information which should be transmitted through the TDMA transmission. And this is a child bed which is the overhead bit which is used for the purpose of power up and power down before and after the transmission of the original information and each and every information message has been again divided into number of slots depending upon the user and each slot has been assigned to the individual user and each slot has have, uh, the following uh, fields that is uh, like trial bit, synchronization bit as similar to the preamble bit, information data that is the uh, actual information to be uh, transmitted and this is a guard bit which is the, actually the idea and base stage of the band which is used to, to reduce the inter interference between the four channels which is existed in the multiple accesses. And this is the you know, frame format again. And this is a formula which is used to, to calculate the number of channels that can be accommodated in the TDMA based on the values of the bandwidth what we have. So B T T O T that is a total bandwidth assigned for this TMA system and this is a B card band which is assigned in between the two consecutive users and B C is a channel bandwidth that is taken by individual user in the individual time slot. So based on these numbers we can able to calculate the number of channels that can be accommodated in the TDMA by using the value small m which is nothing but the number of TDMA user per radio channel. And this is an example for GSM, it is global system for mobile based on that formula which we have seen on the uh, previous slide to calculate the number of users. So if you substitute the given values here, you will be getting n is equal to 1000 simultaneous users which means that in GSM by using TDMA FDT concept, we can be able to accommodate 1000 simultaneous users in one uh, frame.
and this is the formula which is used to calculate the efficiency of the TDMA based on the uh, number of bits in different fields like uh, reference first and uh, uh, traffic first and VOH is the total number of overhead bit which is added before and after the information in each and every frame of the TDMA. NR is the number of reference first and VR is the number of bits in the reference first and the NT is the number of bits in the traffic first that is after information and BP it is overhead bit per TDMA and BG is the got and uh, number of bits. And based on that, with this formula, you can be able to calculate the number of overhead bits that is added in individual TDMA frame. And this is the for another formula which is used for the calculation of number of bits per frame in TDMA that is represented with BT that is equal to the product of the TF into R. The TF is a frame relation and R is the channel data rate. So here this is a formula for calculating the total number of bits in the TDMA frame. And the previous formula is the form, this is the formula to calculate the total number of overhead bits in the TDMA frame. So if you have the value of VOH and PT, you can able to calculate the efficiency of TDMA which is equal to 1 minus VOH by PT, which is nothing but the number of overhead bits divided by the number of total bits in the TDMA into 100 in order to calculate the efficiency of the TDMA. So what we have seen the three set of formulas to calculate the overhead bits and total number of bits in the TDMA and the efficiency of TDMA has been consolidated in this slide. And these are all the features of the TDMA which we have seen already. This so, so it needs single carrier. Transmission occurs in burst. It needs low power only for the consumption. And the process is simple. And here there is no need for duplexer. It has high transmission rate when compared to FDMA. And high synchronization overhead is needed. And God slot is it is necessary. So based on that the formula we can able to calculate the number of bits. So here this is the future. That's all about today's class. Next class we will see the CDMA. After completing the CDMA, we will see how to do the problems in FDMA, TDMA and CDMA by using the formulas what we have seen so far. Thank you.